The Exhalo Breath Thermometer, quite a remarkable device. By measuring the exhale breath temperature or EBT of a person, it can help me determine the presence of any airway inflammation. EBT being a marker for airway inflammation, this device is particularly useful for monitoring patients with asthma or COPD. Let me show you how it works, it's really quite easy to use. It's battery powered, so the battery is going here. Press and hold the OK button to switch on. The first time you start up the Exhalo or after changing the batteries, you may need to set the date and time of the device and the temperature unit you intend to measure in. Make sure there's at least one bar of battery life left. Now, depending on your patient management workflow, the Exhalo can be set to single user mode or multiple user mode. Now that the device is almost ready, you'll need to prepare the patient. Hello, Gracie, how are you? Just take a seat right here. Gracie has asthma and has been coughing for the past week or so. Gracie, I need your help to do a simple breathing test, all right? You just need to breathe into this device for a couple of minutes. The data from this test will give us a better idea of your asthmatic condition. Before we take the reading, it's important to instruct the patient to use the device correctly. Emphasize two points. First, the patient needs to form a seal around the mouthpiece with the lips so that the air is completely channeled into the device during exhalation. Secondly, the patient needs to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth into the device like blowing a balloon. It might be advisable for the doctor to demonstrate the technique with a separate mouthpiece. The patient can then be asked to practice with another mouthpiece. You can coach the patient as you observe. Before giving the device to the patient, we need to prepare it for making a measurement. On the main display, select Record. Then select Start. This will ready the exhalo as indicated by a single beat and an orange visual illumination of the mouthpiece. The screen now displays the inside temperature of the device. Next, press the OK button to begin the measurement. Two audible beeps occur and a green light appears on the mouthpiece. The measurement can now begin. As discussed before, make sure that the patient forms a seal around the mouthpiece with the lips and that she inhales nasally and exhales orally. It'll take a couple of minutes for the device to recognize the maximum temperature of the patient's breath, which is equivalent to the temperature of the lungs. The device can even be connected to a computer via USB connection enabling you to monitor the temperature in real time with the Exhalo software. When the graph plateaus, that indicates that a maximum stable breath temperature has been achieved. The device will detect this and automatically end the measurement with audible and visual alerts. To display the recorded temperature, simply push the OK button and once more to save the reading. Thank you, Gracie. Well done. At the end of each session, the data recorded by the Exhalo can be downloaded onto a computer where you can access the data for trend analysis, comparisons, and to print the results. Observing changes in the breath temperature will help us manage the patient's airway inflammation. So the exhaler really slips seamlessly into your patient management workflow. It's easy and straightforward to use for both doctor and patient.